I haven't done a vlog in a very long time, but I figured this would be fun. My weekend plan's canceled, so we're gonna head out to Thermal, California, about an hour and a half away, over to the IndyCar Challenge, Million Dollar Challenge. I don't know why it's called a Million Dollar Challenge. Winner doesn't even get a million dollars. But that's for a separate conversation. Um, so we're gonna check it out, have some fun, spend way too much money. Um, but today is Saturday, it's the second practice day. Um, I tried looking for like content or like fan stuff from yesterday, Friday, day one, and I just like couldn't find anything. So I figured this would be cool to document because who knows if they'll ever do this again. They haven't had an all-star race in a very, very long time. I was watching the Peacock broadcast and they said it was like 2008. So it's been a minute since they had a non-points event. And uh, it's 10 a.m. right now. We should be getting there by 11.30, 11.45. So let's see how it goes. It's raining right now, but uh, it should be nice and sunny when we actually get over to the club. So I'm excited. All right, so it's not quite 11.45, but a couple potty breaks later, <laughs> uh, we are pretty much here at the Thermal Club, checking out some of the houses um, that are built here. Really, really nice. Some like Spanish style, some like modern style. Absolutely dream homes. Oh, it's so so nice some under construction but um, yeah we're pretty much here I think we got to pick up a credential or something a ticket and it looks like that's pretty much the lone hospitality tent uh, with a grandstand but I'm excited to get inside well, in the ad they said <laughs> you're gonna get up close VIP parking right next to the tent just walk up and here we are doing rally racing. We're we're <laughs> we're going through it right now. And my little car uh, can barely handle these rods. Oh my goodness, brother! How am I supposed to get through those? This is rough. So this is the scenes right now. Calm before the storm. We've got Pratt's Pratt's three or four, I think, in about an hour. Just checked in. Got this little deal. So apparently there's a decent amount of stuff you can go check out. So. We'll go walk in right now. So we're just walking into, I'm pretty sure this is the only entrance. But as soon as we walk in, we got this old uh, Lando car. I'm not too sure on F1, like which car this is, but that's pretty cool. I wonder who's, uh, whose garage this is, but oh man, I didn't even look behind the car. There's a lot of other McLarens back there. Holy smokes. That's bad to the bone. Right? Yeah, I don't know where we're going, but I'll hop in. He's gonna go both directions. <laughs> okay. We got the paddock over here, and directly across we have pit lane. Just really funny to think how close. We're driving for, for any track, really. <laughs> Normally, it's not a shuttle this close. But um, yeah, so Pat, it's really interesting. I can't wait to go walk around because this is like a go kart track, but I think it's only open to the club members and not towards like any actual competition league or lead races. We just got off the shuttle stop right there, and uh, we're pretty much here, right in the middle of the action. The paddock is right over there. We have like a bunch of rich people stuff going on. I like these Spanish style villas um, that they got going on over here, but um, I'm pretty sure this is the common folk area where people like me are just hanging out, getting food. They have like food trucks over there. That's uh, pretty, pretty cool coffee shops and everything. Um, ooh, this is like one of the HMS track attack cars. That's pretty cool. What is this, a gift shop? I don't know. I'm gonna go walk around for a little bit and we'll see what we can find, who we can find. <laughs> Are the hood pins in? Oh my God. I went in to the dish shop for five seconds. I come out, I didn't check the weather. It's not supposed to rain, but oh my God, there's like dust flying everywhere. It is a desert after all. I mean, you can kind of see way off into the distance the dust blowing along. No bueno. What's so funny is that you can like walk out right here onto the track and I think it's so funny because there's literally of course no catch fence because I'm sure they never anticipated hosting any sort of events. 
Uh, I can't wait for the cars to come out on track, but uh, as I came out here, you can see there's a whole bunch of X Cup cars just staging. I'm pretty sure they're all the Hendrick Track Attack cars that some rich guy just bought for him and his friends just to hang out here and dick around. Uh, I need to A, be friends with those guys because I think that's really funny. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the wind's not getting any longer. We still got, I mean, 10 minutes until practice is supposed to start. So I guess we'll head on over to the paddock right now. See what's going on, but it's picking up, baby. I'm like struggling to keep my eyes open. I thought these glasses would protect me, act like a shield, but they're not really working. So we're walking up and down pit road. Uh, it, they just started this next test run session, but I mean, the dust is still flying around. It's still very windy. There's a couple cars on track. Um, but I, I was watching some of the earlier practices on Peacock, and um, it looks like a lot of guys just wait till the track rubbers in a little bit. Um, there we got Scotty Matt. And then a lot of the more competitive guys will go out later in the day. Will it work? Oh my god, it fucking works. <laughs> That's awesome. You know the struggle of trying to hit those angle shots. of them spread out right here on this other side of like pit road there's another one over there um so i don't know if they're gonna be racing tomorrow on sunday but they're practicing today on track and i just saw a bunch of these rich guys go in there with the suit so i'm assuming those are the drivers but they actually have a support series it's lunchtime baby come on get a bunch of free trucks Free uh, food trucks, so I got tacos. This place is really, really nice. The facility and everything. And I'm still trying to memorize the layout, but um, a pretty solid view, pretty nice uh, temporary grandstand compared to any other indie car street course I've been to, like Long Beach. I'm trying to find out, I just downloaded a map, but I'm trying to find out what's that corner where drivers are just like straight lining and going pretty much four tires up in the air. But I um, just finished up my pretty dry taco. RIP, F and chat for me please brothers, because uh, that was rough. But you know what, it's free, it's part of the $500 admission. The more I think about it, the more I'm starting to think it might, it might be worth the $500. Uh, the good views, the, the paddock admission uh, that you get, uh, the shuttle. They, they pretty much shuttle you everywhere, which is uh, really, really nice. But I'm going to try to see if I can get the time. Whatever the temporary plan stands for, I think they're on the other side of the track. But I just found this kind of letting up here in the house. Honestly, kind of a rich flex that you just go putt putting right here. I mean, this is a couple bump. The grandstand's over one of these putt putters right here, but you could just be putt putting with the homies and uh, watch the cars go by. It still trips me out that there's no there's no fence here. <laughs> you can just see the car just perfectly because it's just a little guardrail. 
all of the food, ice cream, churros, there was burgers over there, there's french fries, there's tacos, there's coffee, open bar, all the alcohol, like everything is free. Well, French is about to wrap up. I'm trying to not just stand in my eyes. Once again, baby, it's picking up, just like at the start of practice. Getting pretty rough right now. And uh, cars are starting to come in. I was trying to get a shot. There's an airport over here. I was trying to take a photo on my phone of uh, planes landing with the cars going over. I failed miserably. I'm gonna try again tomorrow. We'll see if I can get it. Shot on iPhone. But uh, yeah, so it's three o'clock right now. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Probably walk around to the shuttle around this place again. And then uh, find uh, a good spot for qualifying in, uh, in a couple hours. So we flash forward about half an hour. We're now on the big fancy grandstand area. And we're watching the wannabe NASCAR Cup Series. <laughs> Dude, I cannot believe they got 16 of these fellas out here, man. Competing in their own damn race. I, I, I wonder what this is like. I imagine this is just a lot of sons, or I mean fathers and their sons and they're just dicking around having a good time, so. Uh, this is pretty funny. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit bummed out. I thought we could go in that big old tented covered shade area. But I was told that it had to be relegated to this grandstand where I have to be baking out in the sun. I didn't bring no sunscreen, so we'll see how red I get. But I'm having fun so far. I'm not gonna lie. All right, so I, I was lead ladling around the course and I made my way up here on top of this building. I don't know if I'm allowed to come up here, but there was this open stairwell. And I said, you know what? I'd rather ask for forgiveness than for permission. But we found ourselves a pretty sweet view, pretty high up. Uh, to see most of the race course for qualifying. This is group two. Um, what's his nuts? Uh, Marcus Erickson just completely killed himself. So we are resuming quali right now. Pretty nice right now with the sunset. Absolutely beautiful temp. Just if we did just delete this wind, it would be chef's kiss. It would be bellissimo. All right, so here we are. Day two, race day for the IndyCar All-Star Million Dollar Challenge. I feel like this would be a cool video to do right next to this really expensive, nice Maserati that I've never seen before. But uh, my phone died last night, so that's why uh, I never did a sign-off video. But here we are. I'm in the Daytona shirt. I just total NASCAR fan. I, I need to get some more IndyCar stuff. But um, let's go in and see what we can find today. One very long tram ride later, we have made our way to the paddock. We just missed the uh, pre-race ceremony. But it looks like they're firing these puppies up. Gonna get ready to go. I don't know it's, what's it's at minute by minute breakdown, but 9.21 right now. Everything seems to be pretty calm. Although, uh, I thought they were supposed to do like the gentleman start your engine soon, but I mean, cars are, or cars. Drivers are still out of their cars. There's a kind of, kind of high lot. I'm trying to get better at my indie car knowledge. That's uh, Linus Lundquist, I want to say. Uh, here we go, heat one start. Did they make out of turn one? Some lockup. Or someone go off? Oh! Oh shit! Someone bend it. Who is that? Is that a Junkos or is that Ericsson? Yellow zone. Or is it a uh, Renus? I know. Quick update. We made it up on top of this very important spotters, crew chief area. Still heat one. It looks like Kurt is in the last spot right now. And Dixon got a penalty, so RIP, my boy. Well, they just ended the deal. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit rough. 
um, with no monitor and I really did not want to get a Peacock subscription or renew it but I had to get it just to figure out what's going on. Uh, what's really cool to view is that there's an airport um, just on the other side of the racetrack here where I'm pretty sure all these teams and rich people fly into and it's a really nice uh, view to try to get the cars and the planes and all these fancy aircraft coming in like that's that's sweet. But uh, it sounds like they just went off for heat two, so I guess I'll just stay up here. It's a pretty solid view. You get to see at least the first half of the course. So we'll see what happens in these next uh, ten laps. Alright, heat two got underway. Somehow they made it through the first corners. I think, I think they all saw heat one. It's a pretty satisfying view right here. these poor fellas needing to pack up but it'd be like that there was no b main you're gone baby and guys like where's the nine pick scott ditson oh bro it's right here can't even transfer i barely got a minute to go get some food some free food quotation marks with some drinks but um yeah and then uh we're, we're back ripping we're back rolling so main event 10 and 10. I really hope, again, like I said in the last clip, that the 10 doesn't run away and stink the show, but uh, let's see, man. It's perfect, perfect, perfect weather. relegated to watch. That's tough. He's got to see his mates. Just having fun. If something goes wrong over here, I mean, we're, we're getting a face full of tires, of nose, of... Uh, especially over there on the other side, where I was at yesterday. But honestly, just great, great views. I, I guess uh, there's a couple guys in the back trying to save some tires, like, I think that's Pietro over there somewhere. I completely missed him on screen. And, uh, Colton. But, uh, dude. Just straight cruising. All right, so we're just vibing out here. Apparently the commentator booth is right over here, so that's pretty cool. What's up, Diff, James, Townsend? Can't believe I almost forgot Mr. Bell. But, uh, half bro. Oh, well, the first try. Let's go, baby. Let's fucking go. Second segment underway. Those boys have pulled away, man. A couple laps to go. All the races I've been to, that was certainly one of them. <laughs> Race ended. 
and ten car winner. Him to pull away and create gaps Color me shocked, and larger from but his competitors. And here we are, victory Alex lane. Below, really the only Where, uh, I think Pelos would come out from over there. The crew is ready to rock and roll, baby. Oh, oh, Pablo is already getting some churros. Let's go. Celebration churros. That's fire. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Run for us, run baby, run! Like Best Buy just opened on Black Friday, just very much people similar running. to what we saw last year. <laughs> if anything, it'll be faster, being slightly lighter than it was last year as we await the, the fire hybrid. Hawk in the house. Let's go, baby. Why wouldn't you say that Alex Pillow is, if not the not favorite, certainly shot. one of the favorites to win the race this year? Uh, Michael Young. Let's go, McLaughlin. That's a, that's a quick $350,000. A heck of a job today. And but once Alex checked out, it looked like a game over. But you still did a fantastic job. And $350,000. It, that's pretty good cash to come in for a weekend. I think that's the most prize money I've ever met in my life, so I'll take that. I'll the top three finishers in this afternoon's Thermal Club $1 million challenge. And now to honor our third place driver in today's event, let's hear it for Felix Rosenquist. Yeah. We've all been waiting for Let's welcome our race winner today here at the Thermal Club Challenge race. Winner of $500,000. Race your hands, put your hands together for the driver from Chip Ganassi Racing. Here's Alex Ballow! This is John Rogers. John! Woo! Tim also in there. Tim, I'll pop up there, John. Thank you, Tim, for the check. Hardware out. The fun part Race right hands, here. Let's make a little noise, because it's time to celebrate with the top three finishers. Going through one last stroll of the paddock here. Go kart track, pretty steep. Dude, these curbs are fucking huge. Oh my god. To be repping a rental here would be sweet, but an actual comp cart, you would destroy, absolutely destroy the front end there, or, or even drop a chain. Uh, in my case, the LO206. But uh, Thermal Weekend's over million dollar challenge. In the books, race was mid as hell. Track looks fun track over there track looks fun to uh to drive on but as far as the actual racing element pretty boring i'm not gonna lie 10 just stomped on them and uh not much overtaking and got a little goofy in the middle with the uh, 30 car getting dq'd but all in all i hope you guys enjoyed that behind the scenes look of the uh, thermal challenge weekend um who knows if we'll do any more of these i'll be in long beach in a couple weeks but until then I will see y'all hopefully somewhere at the track.